The epiglottis is a flap that is made of elastic cartilage tissue covered with a mucous membrane, attached to the entrance of the larynx. It projects obliquely upwards behind the tongue and the hyoid bone, pointing dorsally. There are taste buds on the epiglottis. Structure The epiglottis is shaped like a leaf, with the stem attached to the anterior part of the thyroid cartilage. The epiglottis is one of nine cartilaginous structures that make up the larynx. During breathing, it lies completely within the larynx. During swallowing it serves as part of the anterior of the pharynx. Histology In a direct section of the epiglottis it can be seen that the body consists of elastic cartilage. The epiglottis has two surfaces, a lingual and a laryngeal surface, related to the oral cavity and the larynx respectively. The entire lingual surface and the apical portion of the laryngeal surface are covered by stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium. The rest of the laryngeal surface on the other hand, which is in relation to the respiratory system, has respiratory epithelium, pseudostratified, ciliated columnar cells and mucus secreting goblet cells. Development The epiglottis arises from the fourth pharyngeal arch. It can be seen as a distinct structure later than the other cartilage of the pharynx, visible around the fifth month of development. Function The epiglottis guards the entrance of the glottis, the opening between the vocal folds. It is normally pointed upward during breathing with its underside functioning as part of the pharynx, but during swallowing, elevation of the hyoid bone draws the larynx upward. As a result, the epiglottis folds down to a more horizontal position with its superior side functioning as part of the pharynx. In this manner it prevents food from going into the trachea and instead directs it to the esophagus, which is at the back. Gag reflex, the glossopharyngeal nerve sends fibers to the upper epiglottis that contribute to the afferent limb of the gag reflex. The superior laryngeal branch of the vagus nerve sends fibers to the lower epiglottis that contribute to the efferent limb of the cough reflex. Society and culture in some languages, the epiglottis is used to produce speech sounds, though this sound type is rather rare. Further information can be found under epiglottal consonant. Clinical significance, inflammation. Inflammation of the epiglottis is known as epiglottitis. Epiglottitis is mainly caused by Haemophilus influenzae. A person with epiglottitis may have a fever, sore throat, difficulty swallowing, and difficulty breathing. For this reason, in children, acute epiglottitis is considered a medical emergency, because of the risk of obstruction of the pharynx. Epiglottitis is often managed with antibiotics, and may require tracheal intubation or a tracheostomy if breathing is difficult. The incidence of epiglottitis has decreased in countries where vaccination against Haemophilus influenzae is administered. History The epiglottis was first described by Aristotle, although the epiglottis function was first defined by Vesalius in 1543. It also has Greek roots. Additional images. See also, this article uses anatomical terminology. For an overview, see anatomical terminology. Epiglottal consonant, epiglottopharyngeal consonant, pharyngeal consonant, references. External links, lesson 11 at the anatomy lesson by Wesley Norman.